Hi, everyone. Some people and breeders may say I'm stupid for doing this video. Most of them only want to talk about the good when it comes to breeding and puppies. It is hard to find a breeder that will be truthful and talk to you about the bad or even health issues they may have had in their lines or puppies when breeding. But if the truth be known, I would be stupid not for doing this video. We feel that part of being a professional home breeder, it is our job to educate puppy parents about puppies and health issues they may have. Some people think if you adopt a mixed breed dog, they will be a healthier pet and not have health issues. But our video will show you different. In today's video, I would like to talk about liver issues. When looking at liver issues, there are several kinds. Two of the most common in toy breeds are liver shunts and liver disease. Today, I would like to talk about liver disease. You can never tell by looking at a puppy or dog if they have liver disease. Being a professional breeder, it is our goal to only breed healthy moms and dads. For this reason, we have all of our parents tested and never breed someone that doesn't pass the testing. But when breeding shorty puppies, you can still have these issues in the background, especially if the grandparents, great-grandparents, and the generation behind them have not been tested. Unfortunately, the sad fact is that most breeders do not do the testing. So it is hard to find a genetically tested puppies to add to our breeding program. That is why we keep back our own girls and boys. But once in a while, we do have to add someone from another breeder's line. This was the case in Truly, a.k.a. Toto's parents. Truly is one of our shorts of puppies that was adopted by Brenda and family. He is an adorable, cute, and playful, and you would think he's 100% healthy. But guess what? He is not. Because only his parents were tested and not the generations behind them, he has liver disease. We are very saddened by this, and both mom and dad have been spayed and neutered. This is the most responsible thing we can do. You may ask yourself, how long will he live? God only knows, but we are doing everything in our power to make sure it is as long as he can. He is the sweetest baby boy. It is our goal to have multiple generations behind our shorty puppies tested. This will allow us to produce the best shorty puppies in the world. In our opinion, there will be great benefit to bringing shorty to shorty. When we start doing this, we will have at least two generations on each side of the puppies that have been tested. So there is less chance of health issues. The more generations behind the puppies that have been tested, the less likely you will have health issues. We are also getting to the point that our first generations will have testing for two and three generations on them as well, thanks to my daughter's love for the Yorkies. We have kept back our new little boy, Jasper. He should be in our breeding program by the summer of 2012. Nothing can ever change the fact that our little guy has this health issue. But our puppy parents can always take comfort that we are always here for them and our puppies, that we will breed to better our breed one generation at a time, and that each and every one of our puppies comes home with a lifetime health warranty, and your new puppy will come with pet insurance to help with any unforeseen issues or accidents that may occur. Anytime you are breeding and dealing with living, breeding creatures, things will come up out of your control. In my opinion, it is how you handle it, says the type of person you are. So if we can educate just one puppy parent about health issues in shorties, then my heartache was not for nothing. If just one puppy parent makes a more educated decision, on the new family member, it will make my heartache worth it. The following is a letter I received from Brenda about her little puppy, Truy, a.k.a. Toto. 
please take the time and read it as it scrolls through your window. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it educational. Please keep our adorable little guy, Truy, a.k.a. Toto, in your prayers, as we are hoping he will live here with us at Shorty World for many years to come. In closing, if I can give all puppy parents one piece of advice, it would be to choose a breeder that does the testing. Only that can say if their parents are healthy. This can save you much heartache and financial burden. Thank you. God bless. Have a good night.